Good morning. We are coming to you from uh, the Goodsell United Methodist Church, as well as Power Chapel United Methodist Church, two of God's great churches. Goodsell is located in the Net, Alabama, and Power Chapel is located in Lafayette, Alabama. And we thank God for these great churches. Uh, we want to ask you to share our message, if you will, uh, start a watch party, uh, comment, and, of course, participate as we would in just a normal worship. And we praise God for all of our viewers. Uh, my sister Kathy is watching, Trudy, Jeanette, Diane, Michelle, and we thank those from across the country. Uh, and we are thankful for this uh, technology, which makes it possible for us to reach people that we would not be able to reach even at this challenging time. I want to look at a word from you this morning from Timothy, Second Timothy. The first chapter, the third verse, it says, I am grateful to God whom I serve with a good conscience as my ancestors did. I constantly remind you in your prayers day and night. When I remember your tears, I long to see you so that I can be filled with happiness. I am reminded of your authentic faith, which first lived in your grandmama Lois and your mother Eunice. I am sure that this faith is also inside you. Because of this, I am reminding you to revive God's gift that is in you through the laying on of my hands. God didn't give us the spirit that is timid, but one that is powerful, loving, and self-controlled. I want to talk with you today, this morning, from the subject, what our mothers teach. Our mothers play the most important role in our lives. Uh, she is a cook, a nutritionist, janitor, butler, nurse, guard, coach, psychic, manager, counselor, teacher, and spiritual guide. We, we've been begin learning in the mother's womb. Our first daycare is in the womb of our mothers. Our mothers birth us. Our mothers birth us and sometimes have to beat us because our mothers love us. Mothers teach manners. Mothers teach us to sit up straight. Mothers teach us to speak up. Mothers taught us if you, you ask for something, you might get it. Mothers ask us not to do anything that she would not do. The influence of a mother's teaching is more powerful than a father's teaching simply because there are more telephone calls made on Mother's Day than it is any other day of the year. More mothers Day cards given on Mother's Day, more gifts given on Mother's Day, more flowers given on Mother's Day than any other holiday in the world. And men, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, men can work two or three jobs, buy your boys clothing and all of his necessities and can teach him how to teach Kid can teach him how to play basketball, can teach him how to play baseball, can teach him how to play football, run track, teach him how to fish, how to hunt, how to drive a car. And when that big bubble-headed boy do something special and get on prime time television before the entire world, the first thing he will say is, hi, mom, hi, mom. And that same television that you work two jobs to pay for 
he would say, hi, mom. And so moms have a very powerful influence over their children. In the Bible, Jacob's mother tricked her husband Isaac so that he could have the blessing instead of his brother Esau. Moses' mother stopped him from being killed by hiding him and placing him in an ark and floating him down a river where he knew that Pharaoh's daughter was bathing and he, she knew that he would touch her heart when he cried. And she ended up being his teacher in Pharaoh's household. Then there were two women fussing over a child before King Solomon. And both women told Solomon, this is my child. In order to find out who the child really belonged to, King Solomon had to put him to the test. He said, I'm going to cut this child in half. And I'm going to give each of you women half of the child. And so the woman that got happy, he knew she was not the mother of the child. He knew that she was lying out of both sides of her mouth. And so he gave the child to his mother who loved him so much that she was willing to give up her child in order to save his life. And then the mother of James and John's mama came to Jesus and said, Master, when you get into your kingdom, I want my boys to sit on your right hand side and on your left hand side in your glory. And so all through the Bible, you will find women who are driven to push, protect, promote, uh, in order to push their children, there are women who want their children to do more than just survive. They want their women to thrive. They want their children to get ahead and stay ahead. These women are the driving forces in the lives of children. And that is because God has put something down in her heart. There's something down into the heart of a real mother to make sure that the child succeeds. And I'm a living witness that this has been the case with my mother. In fact, she did not acquire much secular education, but she wanted me to get my education. She used to say the same thing my grandfather used to say, get your education, that's something that no man can take from you. She wanted me to succeed in school. She, she wanted me to succeed in my career. She wanted me to succeed in life. And most fathers will just get tired of you and put you out of the house when they get tired of you. But mama will at least make sure that you marry the right person before she break your plate. Mothers are usually the one who mold, shape, and fashion the child's character for all eternity. And Paul understood this when he had to remind Timothy of the faith that he had seen in his grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice. In other words, Timothy was the kind of man that he was because of the kind of grandmother and the kind of mother he had. Their faith and love for God had shaped Timothy into a powerful man of God, And what this tells me is women have the powerful potential to purposely impact the lives of their children and grandchildren. And this is an awesome task. This is an awesome responsibility that mothers have and a responsibility that need, never needs to be taken lightly. It needs to be taken seriously at all times, but they can only make it happen as long as God is at the center of their lives. And God is the main priority that is shaping the lives of their children. A godly woman can strive and strain and struggle to lead a child on the road to eternity, but it is also possible for a mother to make sure that a son or daughter be given everything. Thing. They can be given all of the material things. They can succeed in 
worldly affairs, but they will turn around and miss the main thing, which is eternal life. Timothy had a God-fearing mother, gave him faith in God. They gave Timothy something that would last long after all of these worldly things are gone, all of these worldly awards rust and turn to dust. And the Bible does not tell us how they did it. But I do know what mama did for me. She did not send me to church. Mama brought me to church. She did not ask me, did I want to go to church? If there was any church going on, mama was going to take me to church. And I was going to go to church whether I wanted to go to church or not. And not only that, I remember how I saw her every night down on her knees in prayer. And when I was a long ways from God, I could see her in my mind. And I've always believed that some of those prayers that mama was praying had been for me. Mama taught me if you want something, just pray for it. Mama taught me the power of prayer. And any mother who can do that can put faith in their hearts and in the minds of their children. That's why mothers have such a special place in the minds of their children and in the eyesight of God. That's why I want to say to all of you mothers, I thank God for you. Whether or not you have the courage of Harriet Tubman, the boldness of Rosa Parks, the mind of Maya Angelou, the vision of Coretta Scott King, the talent of Cicely Tyson, the voice of Beyonce, the pocketbook of Oprah Winfrey, or the toenails of Pookie Brown. Keep on teaching. Keep on reaching. Keep on changing and redeeming the world for God. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. And I pray that you have many, many more. Thank you. Be safe.